Hello and welcome to a cozy world. We are starting this series off in the snowy taiga. It has been a moment since I started in a survival world, so it'll be fun to get back into early game. Is that dirt or a- Oh, it's a village! Yo, perfect. All right, where to build, where to build. I want to stay close to the village, but I don't want to be right up on it. For someone who doesn't like to be cold, I'm enjoying this biome an awful lot. I like it. All right, I think this might be it. I think this might be it. There we go. Now we know it's a home. It has been a year since I started my survival world. A year since I began this journey. A year since I hit record. Today, we dive into that. This is where it started. This house here is where everything started. In here is where we spent cozy first nights by the fireplace. And up here is where we nap. <laughs> wow. It's so nostalgic. Here is where I farmed my first sheep. And here's where I first automated. And those are my first friends. Look at them. And they are friends too, I guess. Over here... Is where we first farmed trees. Some of them still haven't grown back yet. This is where our lovely little tree farm began. Look how beautiful this ice is. Oh, look how beautiful this is. And this is one of our first farms. The iron farm. <laughs> if we go over here, this is our village. Still not finished yet inside here. <laughs> Still uh, a little empty, but... And here is where we first traded with villagers. And here is where the villager game began. Oh, wow. And here <laughs> is where I figured out- oh, whoa, that's beautiful. Um, some fun hacks with villagers. <laughs> I love this thing. And this is also where we got one of my absolute favorite clips. Oh, yeah. Click, click, click. Ah! Oh, look how cozy this is. This is nostalgic. Up here is where we made plans to make another library. And we haven't got to that yet. Um, look away. We won't look at that. This is our first village. This is our storage. <laughs> Inspired by Snowden, if you can kind of see the resemblance of one of the Snowden builds. This one as well. And with the, <laughs> the title even. <laughs> if we go in here. Here we have some first storage. Oh, and over here. We have some friends, and we also have Krorus and Sam, um, who came from another world, which is really interesting. And Krorus likes to dig. This is so funny. <laughs> I love that. Uh, and this is where we first went to the nether, and here's our little map. It looks so empty. <laughs> and this is where we first dived into the nether. And here is where we first started our nether tunnel. Yay. 
We have Jared and Snowflake are our nether friends. Um, and then we have Tunnel to the Plains Biome. And we have the Tunnel to our nether mine and nether fortress. If we go this way, we have an unfinished nether tunnel. But if we keep flying in this direction, we run into another nether portal, which is where we continued our adventure. And here is where things truly began. This is where it truly began with the expansion of our farm and our tree farm. And then we have our brewing building. I still love this build so much. It is one of my favorites. We go in here, it's really dark. We have oh, the inside. I absolutely love it in here. This is one of my favorite builds. For sure. Some nether wart. And we have our path continuing to lead this way. Or this way. <laughs> and then we have our giant boxes, like the bee farm and the world's smallest mangrove tree. And down here we have another one of my absolute favorite builds ever. I love reflective floors. This is a storage that holds every item in the game. That I don't have finished yet, but it will once I finish it. Look at the reflective floors. Oh, it's beautiful. I do need to fix <laughs> these, but... Yes. Oh, look at it, though. Oh, this is beautiful. It's even better for shaders. Look at it. Look how much even, even more reflective it looks. And then over here, we have all of the food items. Again, I don't have all of them, but it will be able to hold all of them once I do collect everything. And then, in this direction, we have even more storage for all of the natural blocks. We have all of these blocks. All of these blocks. Then we have some redstone things and some more items here that we have stored. Some more blocks. Some shards. We go down here, we have all of our armor things stored. And we have the collection of the armor trims, but yeah, this stores every item. Once I have every item collected, it will be able to store it all. And then we go up here. And we have a zombie after us. Um, anyways, if we go down here, we have our lovely magical enchanting area with our pesky bird here. <laughs> we have our lovely cat cafe. I love this build so much. I'm so happy. Look how cute this is. I love how it turned out. Okay, I, I know I didn't. This looks like blinds. It looks like the blinds are closed. I just noticed. We have all of our kitties and we have the manager, Miss Jelly, of course. Other kitties. We have the dining area in here. And then we have the next build, which is our lovely bakery, which I absolutely love oh look at it with the it's beautiful we have our bakery i love this so much i love this build we can go upstairs and another lovely bed design and we have the balcony which is so cozy at night oh, i love it so much I'm so happy with this And then when you can look out the window and see the garden, which still needs finished. Go out here, continue onwards. We have our um, flower shop here, which, and then we have the library, which is really cozy as well. We have all of the books. We have the little ladder thing here. We go up the stairs. We have yet another cozy little bedroom. And then we have another ladder, which th there's nothing up here. It's just the ad very empty attic. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. This is lovely. I'm loving this place. I love what we have so far in a world. One year in. And then, and then we have this. We are continuing out this way. And again, a continuation of our area. And I love it. Oh wait, there is one more thing, actually. Ready? 
Oh, look at this. It's so pretty. I <laughs> love it. Oh, and the sun coming through the vines. Shaders are lovely, man. I don't play with shaders all the time, but like, they're lovely. And if we go this way, up here we have a lot planned for this area that we have not got to yet. But if we go under here, we have this area. Oh, we have the little cozy thing here. If we go in here, even more cozy. And we have our axolotls. Uh oh, one axolotl. There should be two. I like this little axolotl thing. Okay, but yeah. Our world so far. Oh, yeah. And we have this giant tree. Ooh, look at the leaves. Beautiful. And we have one of my favorite farms ever. I love this thing so much. And then we have automated bone meal. I love this farm. It's my favorite. We have a lot in this world. We got a lot done. Now that we have all of these ingots, it is time. We have done it. We have armor. We're armored now. Love to see it. All right, now, now we can do dangerous things. No. <laughs> and that is our iron farm. Look at it go. It's working. <laughs> it's working. Um, the only thing is I had to put torches up with the eye, like the water sources or else they freeze. We have it. it. Hello, friend. So what you do is you build an iron farm and then you get one of these guys, but you trade iron with him and then you can get approximately over a stack of emeralds and then and then you just have enough and then you just have it. And I haven't mined a single diamond. Ouch. Last time I took a whole heart, this time I took half a heart. Look at us. Look at us. Oh, I love it. When we were hearing the cat, I figured out where the cat is. The kitty and a fox is in the boat. Come on, Jelly. Come on, hurry. Hurry, Jelly. Oh, there you are. Come on, come on. Inside, inside. Oh, we love you. Oh, this is, might be my most favorite Minecraft moment ever. I see land. I really hope this biome has birch. I will cry if not. I've never been excited to see birch. I came out thousands of blocks for this. We have our storage building. It is actually Snowden inspired. Go in here. We start to do the floor, of course, but here is our storage. I love how it turned out. This episode, a little different, as you can probably tell and see by our subtitles, we have piglins. So we are not in Kansas anymore. We are here. In the Netherlands. I guess we could take a map of our area. So we put this one in the offhand, we go to the very bottom of the map, then we make the new map. Okay, I feel like it should be next to the nether portal. Just cause like, you know, you come out of the nether portal and then you get the map of the area. Obviously it'll grow in the future. Okay, here we are. We've made it. This should be the plains biome. Let's do it. What if it's nighttime? Please don't spawn me in a cave. Yo, here we are. Wow, I'm loving it. We did it. Plains. There's a there's a water, a river, <laughs> all of it. Wow. Wow. Seeing plains is really nice. We did it. I love it. Wow. 
Oh, it's so different to see rain. We'll continue to expand here. Just setting up the stalls. Alrighty, we have a start to our area. I, I'm loving it. This is really cool. And there we have it. We have our brewing building. I don't know what the brewery, I don't know what to call it. Um, <laughs> I love how it turned out. It's nice. I, I enjoy this. Alrighty, so what I wanted to do with the storage system. Okay, is over here where we have like that one cave. So what I want to do is hollow that out. Clean out like the whole area. This is the basic layout of our storage system. I'm so excited to get everything done and decorated. Here is our storage system. Oh, I love it. Look how amazing this is. Wow. <laughs> All right, I think we're doing it. Let's do it. Here we are. We did it. There it is. There it is. We've done it. Oh, look at it. We've done it. <gasps> and we have our elytra. And we have our creeper farm. And here we have our storage system. I love it so much. It looks so good. <laughs> I've always wanted a reflective floor and like, I, yay, it looks, I love it. And here we have our cat cafe. I love it. Oh, I love it. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm so excited to have the first building. It's coming together. It's slowly growing. And we have the bakery. Oh, I love it. I love it next to the cafe. Look at it. It's, it's starting and I love it. Yeah, I've definitely learned a lot about building and stuff. Like, it's insane looking back at old worlds, how, how much I have improved and learned about building and like building and terraforming and all these different things. Like, it's just taught me how to be better at the game in, in, in that way. Yeah, it's, it's taught me a lot. It's taught me so much. I've learned a lot from it. And yeah, I just enjoyed you know, making the time lapses. We all know how much I enjoy Minecraft time lapses. In my other world, I'm like, you know what? I just want to share the time lapses with someone, you know? And so here we are. <laughs> While the goal wasn't to get people to watch, it's like, it would just be cool if someone enjoyed what I did, you know? As much as I enjoyed making it, maybe someone can enjoy watching, even though I don't know exactly how far that went as far as like, you know, people enjoying my content, I don't know. And that's okay. Like, that is, that is okay. It is just a hobby of mine, you know? It's just, it was just something that I enjoyed doing. And then I wanted to share it because, you know, that could also be fun. And so, you know, I just started sharing it. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to share that. And I am glad I got to share. I'm glad I got to share what I do. If you've stuck around and also enjoyed it, you know, thank th thank you for sticking around. I I appreciate that a lot. Like, that's insane to think about that people have stuck around because they genuinely kind of enjoy what I do. And what I make. And, you know, it, enjoy it as much as I do. It's like, I really, you know, I like some of the stuff I created. And it was fun to do. Like, it's just a hobby of mine. Like, putting together fun videos. Like, that's just fun to me. Yeah, it's just a hobby of mine. It's like putting together the videos and stuff, you know? So yeah, if you if you enjoyed, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for being here with me on this on this little journey. Um, yeah. It's crazy to see how much I've changed and grown, whether it's my video quality or audio quality or how I've improved at building. A lot has changed in a year. I got to meet a lot of cool people, I got the opportunity to share a lot, and I'm happy for that. I had the chance to create a lot of cool things, whether it's my builds themselves, my videos, or the intros and cinematic bits that I love to put together. It's been super fun, it's been so good, and I love how everything turned out. So yeah, thank you for one year. It has been so real and so great. Uh, this Minecraft journey we've done together has been super fun. We got to create a lot of cool things together, and I love all that we have made. But, uh, yeah, 
that is all from me. <laughs> Goodbye.